an open letter to the recipients of my son Shane's organs. I wrote this letter because I need you to know who Shane was and how exquisite of a human being he was and how his spirit is and will continue to inspire so many people. You are now forever an inherent part of my soul, my baby, my monkey bear. This is my nickname for Shane because when he was a baby, he would climb up my body like a little monkey climbing a tree and wrap his arms and legs around me like a koala bear, monkey bear. You've been given a gift far greater than I believe you will ever know. I have to admit something because I wrote this letter from a place of truth. As a fellow human being, I am so happy for you. But the instinctual and maternal piece of me, that mommy part of me, feels a deep resentment that I never knew I could ever feel. Donating Shane's organs wasn't even my idea. The fact of the matter is, I was in deep shock and denial. It was Shane's brothers, my sons, grieving kids themselves, little boys who lost their childhoods forever that day, who were able to think of others, you, during the worst time of their own lives. Every single day, it's painful. Every day, something new reminds me that my Shane is no longer here with me. Right now, there's someone on this earth with Shane's beautiful heart. A heart made of gold. An open, caring, loving heart. A heart that only felt the good in this world and that turned a negative into a positive no matter what. A heart so precious that Shane would give away his prized possessions, not for any sort of recognition, but only because he loved to see the look on people's faces when he did. So whoever you are, you need to know how truly special that heart is that is now beating with life inside of you. Each beat feeding you with the life that I so want to have with me. Please take great care of that heart and continue to spread the love that Shane so selflessly always did. And every time you feel it beating, I ask that you at least just try to think of Shane, one of the most amazing, beautiful human beings there ever was, as a final gift from him to you. If you could now see the sheer beauty in the world and the littlest things as Shane always did, you need to know that Shane saw the world differently than most people. Shane found goodness and beauty in everything and everyone. Shane was known for finding the shape of a heart everywhere we went, no matter where or when. There was always a heart to be found in raindrops, clouds, strawberries, stones, shadows, anything. I can go on and on, and I think that says a lot about him. I also called Shane my rainbow hunter because after a storm, Shane seemed to always be the first one to find that rainbow in the sky. And trust me, it was a competition. So if you're one of the people who can now see through Shane's eyes, the next time you notice a heart or a rainbow or simply see the beauty in something, no matter how insignificant it may seem, please know that Shane was beautiful too, inside and outside. I've heard that someone received Shane's lungs, the lungs that breathe life into my baby's body the lungs that filled with the air of joy or anticipation on Christmas morning, or before he blew out his birthday candles, or waiting for a Broadway show to start, or the night I won a cooking competition for our family's sauerbraten recipe. I can't tell you how many times Shane and I were together walking, usually holding hands, because thank God he was not ashamed of me, making memories and just talking about things. I'm so grateful that I have never taken a moment for granted. Every breath Shane took was one taken with gratitude by me. I pray that you feel that gratitude as well, because the breaths we each take on this earth have a finite number. And while Shane's has ended, yours has begun. And each breath you take, please try to remember how pure and awesome they had been being protected by my son Shane. The lungs that gave my baby boy life the second he was born and that anticipated newborn baby cry now belong to you. So please take the time to smell the flowers. This is something that Shane and I did all the time. 
Maybe he knew his time here was short. Maybe he knew he had a reason for being here. I'll never know. All I ask is that you understand this and please take the time to appreciate the things that most people take for granted because this is what life is all about. I want you all to know that I've dedicated my life to ensuring that what happened to Shane never happens to another child. Hate kills. Hate killed Shane. The one with the golden heart. The eyes that see only beauty and the lungs that beam with the joy of just being alive. I wish I could prevent his heart from being broken because the cruelty of kids that will likely never know the love that everyone has for Shane. I wish I could have wiped the tears that must have streamed out of those beautiful old soul eyes that fell down those beautiful cheeks. I wish I could tell him how much I love him, cuddle with him, hold his warm hand and just feel his breathing precious air. I just want him home safe with me. Please know, while I'm extremely happy for you and we may never even meet, all I ask is that you please, please take care of yourself. Because as long as you are alive, part of Shane is alive too and this brings me more comfort than you will ever know. Very sincerely yours, Sandy. Shane's mom.